I'm Colleen Steinauer. I'm an inpatient nurse manager in Fargo, and this is my blue chair story. I'm pretty lucky, in all honesty. Um, a lot of people, I, I don't want to get emotional, but a lot of people that I'm friends with have been diagnosed since, since before me or after me that have passed away. I feel blessed. I feel lucky that I had, you know, I could have my treatment here with my family with me and that I'm right now in remission. It was April 19th, 2019, day I'll never forget. I woke up, um, noticed some pretty significant bruising on my body and some blood spots on my tongue. And I just said to my husband, I said, just pray that I don't have leukemia. So I called my manager and I just said, I'm gonna stop and go to the walk-in clinic before I come to work, put my scrubs on and was coming to work. They drew lab, which were very abnormal. So they wanted them repeated. They repeated them and they were worse than the first time. So the PA went across the hallway and talked to the Roger Maris Cancer Center doctor over there, and I was admitted directly from the walk-in clinic to the cancer center. I kind of thought I knew something was going on, I just didn't think it was as significant as it was. I did call my boss and I said, can you just come and sit with me until my husband gets here? And she did, she came down there and sat with me. Her coming and sitting with me meant a lot to me and it was just, I was trying to just get a hold of my emotions and trying to figure all of that out. And so um, just her sitting with me until my husband got there. And she said now she can't walk by the urgent med area without thinking about that day. My mother passed away from cancer when I was 15. She was diagnosed when I was seven. So I saw the challenges she had going through cancer. So when I was diagnosed, you know, I prior to having kids, kind of thought about that was kind of in the back of my mind, if I have kids and something happens to me, do I ever want them to have to go through that? Um, of course, I, my children are a true blessing to me, but when I was diagnosed, they were the first thing I thought of. You know, my kids were the first thing that came to my mind and my husband. And the thing about it is that people don't understand is you're the one who's sick, but there's such guilt behind it because you're putting them through all of that. So they were there for me, and but it was a tough time. It, I just knowing that they, what they were going through. I'm used to the one who's solving the problems and helping everybody and I feel truly blessed that I had so many people that were willing to, you know, make meals for us. My son was a senior at the time so I was missing all of his baseball games. So my entire team went to his baseball game to cheer him on for me since I wasn't able to be there. So that was awesome. Was flowers, gifts, cards, everything. Um, they started a meal train. My family had meals prepared for them for three months every day. Um, they had bands that had my name on them that said Colleen Strong. They sold those, they gave all the proceeds to my family. I had a couple of my employees make quilts for me, which were awesome because it's just, it's a little bit of home maybe when you're in the hospital. It's just not another hospital blanket, but something that means a lot to you. When I rang the bell in December, they decorated my office, they put balloons everywhere, flowers, and it was just amazing. Ringing the bell was amazing. I just that knowing that it was the last day that I was going to have to, every day, Monday through Friday, go to the and have treatments, and that was just, it was an awesome feeling. And my whole family was there waiting for me. I had my CCLs there, and some of my staff were there, so um, it was a really good feeling that I was one of the lucky ones and got to ring the bell. The nurses everywhere were amazing. Honestly, it's it's you know too much sometimes so of course I asked a lot of questions and people probably didn't want to take care of me because I did ask so many questions but I think people knew I just give the best care I can to every single person because I remember my you know my mother passed away from cancer and I just remember her saying just to always treat people how you would want to be treated and so that's why I would always do what I the absolute best I could for any patient I cared for everybody that I work with with is amazing and I think they know that they're amazing, but they've all been in situations where they've needed help and we've helped them. And so it's really, you get back what you give out to other people.